Hello and welcome to MM Design. My name is Maria and today we're going to be talking about the spring summer, no wait, not spring summer, spring summer is right now, fall winter pattern trends. Okay, okay, okay. okay. When I talk about trends, I mean I looked at a bunch of different runaway shows and these are the ones that stood out for me. I collected all of them and I'm showing them almost all to you, the most exciting ones, I guess. If you love to keep track of what's on the runways, what's trendy, or maybe just find out some more inspiration for figuring out what to wear, I encourage you to follow this channel and we'll have some fun with that. Let's get started. So the first trend isn't the most popular, but there is a few houses that did end up using this pattern and it's polka dots. By not the most popular, I mean, I didn't have a huge amount of uh, resources to choose from. There has been a print or two in a few shows, but whenever I see a print in a brand that is usually not a print friendly brand, then I think it is worth mentioning, such as Burberry. So Burberry does not really involve itself with polka dots, more plaid, so it was interesting to see it there, as well as an off-white, and Loe had some really funky balloon type print and with the boobies too anyways okay so the next one would be floral I know floral isn't that big of a surprise to in any season now but we still have it and the way it's changing is probably using more of those trendy colors that were present on the runways if you don't know which ones are trending you should check out my other video it'll be listed down below in the description box or maybe there's going to be a little window here, a little link to go there. But once again, if I see Balenciaga having floral print, I'm going to put it in here. Gucci also having more of that uh, old couch kind of a floral as well as in rock. We see a lot of this vintage floral print. So if you are a crafter, if you're a maker, I encourage you to go down to a thrift store, buy yourself some very nice vintage curtains and create something for yourself because there are so many vintage inspired prints. There was even more like a carpet print and some, here's one in Dior, and a, a lot of prints that really resembled very old vintage wallpaper. Also, we have a lot of more of feminine florals in Zimmerman. Uh, they're beautiful and if it's your style, go ahead with it. But in the rest of the shows, it was more of that vintage style print as I mentioned. Acne Studios had more like a shawls draping as skirts or maybe as capes some mismatched floral prints added together in a jacket. I love this. I think it would be really cool to create something from vintage fabric. And maybe some of these designers are doing exactly that. Some of the color combinations are very bright and out there, uh, and others are more subdued, so it's completely up to your style and up to your fashion sense. Here's Off-White rocking that carpet print, the Persian carpet, that it is a very interesting. It's, and we also see this kind of a floral print in Moschino. A few dresses also resembling a carpet. I'm not sure if you would be able to find a carpet that was light enough to create anything from it, but maybe like a towel or something, you can make yourself a jacket. We have somewhat more of this print in Isabel Moran having a blazer with some a sparkly stuff and some dresses with more subdued colors. We see in Louis Vuitton a lot of prints and some of them being kind of a pop of print instead of pop of color, having that statement print in there. We also see a lot of print mixing in that show where there it's maybe a floral sweater paired with a striped shirt or something along the lines. From all these shows you can definitely find the, the style that works for you the best. Maybe you're more of a romantic. Eula Johnson has a lot of very romantic and pretty dresses in those fall winter hues and as well as Zimmerman as I mentioned. If you're more edgy, 
Louis Vuitton had some amazing ways of pairing things together as well as just go look at Balenciaga everything that Balenciaga does is edgy so here we go all right we're heading into the geometric realm and we see a lot of patterns like brought out of a few different geometric shapes and repeated very retro looking especially in Prada shows Max Mara Versace's new print is very geometric but once again we are seeing a lot of a retro kind of color schemes when it comes to these prints and even some of the shapes are very very retro. Yule Johnson, if it is quilted, it's beautiful. It must have taken forever. I've also seen a few creators out there on social media repurposing those quilted items and making garments out of them and I think it's a beautiful idea. Somebody has put so much time and effort into them and if it's just a little hole somewhere you can definitely patch it up or maybe if it's a stain just cut pieces out of what you, you can salvage and create an item. I think it's such a beautiful idea and really, really unique. Fendi had a weird pattern that I don't quite understand, but it's okay. If you're enjoying this content so far and you'd like to support my channel, all you need to do is like this video, maybe leave a nice comment down below, and if you're not already, subscribe. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about stripes. So stripes are super duper kind of basic print. It's been out there for ages, but let's just talk about how it is styled and how it is presented nowadays because we are limited with prints. Let's just face it. There can't be a crazy new print out there, but we do see these stripes in different thickness, in different color combinations, even different arrangements, like either it's vertical or horizontal or maybe both like we see in Hermes but the most popular one I would have to say would be a pinstripe. Pinstripe is when you have very tiny thin thin lines like in the Versace show right here we're seeing. Pinstripe is very associated with menswear and kind of business wear attire and we see this in so many shows. We see this in Gucci, Michael Kors, Fendi, Rock and so so many more. Another way of the stripes wearing as I mentioned before Louis Vuitton a lot of combination of the stripes and they were mostly on rugby shirts combining with floral prints or maybe some other prints. We also see a lot of stripes in Burberry which leads us into plaid because basically plaid is stripes on stripes. You know what I mean? Like one is horizontal and one is vertical and thus we have that pattern. This is such a classical print or pattern and we see so much of it. Maybe it's in more of a trendy color like in Gucci, like really bright yellow and blues together, or maybe it's out of sequence, or maybe it's more subdued and just a classical brown or more of a vintage vibe colors. And I am here for it. As you can see, I am wearing something that is plaid and I have a lot of it in my closet. You know what? It is what it is. If it is such a classic one, why not buy it? It will last you a lifetime. Dior has some amazing outfits with plaid on plaid and sometimes having different plaids together kind of a pattern clashing of some sort even just black and white and it looks amazing we also see some of that in Zimmerman having that blue on blue action or maybe prints mixed in with florals it's all nice and games and another unlikely print for off-white as they have not had a lot of prints out there Miu Miu having that sweater vest situation like a golfer one and some outerwear in plaid. We have Louis Vuitton once again having more of a plaid and more even of a tweed which is sort of a plaid uh, but not really. We also see it in Chanel. Chanel had a whole show did it dedicated to plaid I think it's a good um, business strategy just because those items are the most expensive and considered the most classical thing from Chanel, so they do sell very well. Burberry, of course, they have their classical, their OG print 
in plaid and we have some more color combinations with that more of a tartan print rather than anything else and i love it there are some combinations of plaid and solid colors there's plaid clashing there's some pattern clashing dolce gabbana had more of a modern approach having more like a check print on there and a versace having more of a shepherd's check slash houndstooth some uh, black and white and some very bright color combinations using those popular colors those trendy colors that we talked about in the previous video and putting them together if i were to go for a bright color combination i would just think about my favorite color and what i would wear outside of this one show or season something that i could rewear and i would just go for it maybe i have a lot of that color in my closet so i can pair it with something else just trying to be a little bit more conscious about what i buy and how it will go with the rest of my closet of course if i had a chance i would definitely buy a nice bright one from versace dolce gabbana also having those hound tooth as well as chanel eula johnson having print clashing if you ever wanted to know how to start wearing print or maybe if you already do some other tricks of wearing print i encourage you to check out oh, my video it's pretty old so be patient with it and it will be listed down below in the description box let's talk about animal print so the most iconic well i wouldn't say iconic most used animal print out there was the zebra print we see a lot of it on the runways we see it in louis vuitton christian Siriano as well as in Gucci. We also see some cow prints <laughs> like we see this in Gucci right now and an ambush as well as some snakeskin print and cheetah print. But the most one I think would be the zebra print. I found it to be the animal print that was featured the most. All right now let's talk about i don't know if this is a print or how would i say this there was a lot of dresses and pantsuit that had a drawing of or an outline of a body of some sort we see this in alexander mcqueen kind of spray painted figures christian siriano had more of a shape this is great way of visual illusion about a smaller waist just having that color difference in there usually it would be a color in the middle and then the darkness outside but it's all right so balma had actual painted on figures as if the light is catching on certain parts of the body and this is such a beautiful beautiful Thing that I went and bought something online it hasn't arrived yet so maybe I'll show you guys when I get the chance uh, hopefully it will fit me and hopefully it's gonna be beautiful so we have more of those of uh, human figures from Loe having kind of a white version and a black version for it uh, some hands covering some intimate parts this is a very cool dress with a glove with the red nail fringe which would be amazing and totally difficult to be with if you're wearing it on your dominant hand this is kind of the end to the major prints that i've seen but there is also some that i wanted to mention and those were this really interesting print on a loe's kind of print of clothing on clothing we also see some tie dyes in off-white which is once again very interesting there is lots of prints featured in off-white show that usually were not there before we also see some kind of a tie-dye situation in balma maybe more like playing around with bleach in dolce gabbana instead of bleach we have more of a 
graffiti vibes just a white suit graffitied all over we have some more items graffiti all having like a dolce gabbana print on there we also see some interesting draped print from moschino so instead of having that material being super drapey which i'm sure it somewhat is there's actually the print of the drapery which is very cool and i really like it some other interesting prints in Louis Vuitton. We also have the logo mania, of course, Chanel, Gucci, Dolce Gabbana. Everybody wants to have their merch, everything visualized and seen. That can be sometimes cringy, but let's face it, Gucci is all about that cringe factor. So we don't mind it. Versace also had a really crystallized jacket like that, blazer maybe. I would definitely rock this for eternity. Balenciaga having that orange, yellow and orange tape outfits with its name plastered all over. And yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Prints are fun to use and sometimes they can be very difficult to style. And uh, that is maybe number one reason why people are stay away from them. Prints can be very helpful in disguising some body parts, maybe accentuating other body parts. If you have wider hips and you want to pull the tension away from them, then have a print on top having something bright or eye-catching at the top would help to balance out your body or the other way around. Also print can hide chunkiness or different kind of underwear lines. It is also great for messy people. If you're a messy eater or something or you always get a stain on your clothing, prints are great for disguising that, especially floral prints. Yeah, they can be useful and they are very very fun to style and figure out how to wear and that is why i like them i am a messy person let's just face that it's it's true all right you guys thank you very much for watching this to the end i'm looking forward to reading down below in the comments what is the print you're looking forward to the most or maybe what you had for breakfast you know every little comment helps <laughs> i hope you have a great day and yeah, stay classy. Bye.